Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sirajul Akfayasi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about polysaccharides. So what is polysaccharides? You know my friends, polysaccharides consist of large number of monosaccharides unit bonded together by a glycosidic bond and are the most common form of carbohydrates. You also know they do not have sweet taste. So polysaccharides generally called as a non-sugar. They form linear and branch chain. You know, polysaccharides are classified into two types, namely homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides, depending upon the constituent monosaccharides. Homopolysaccharides are composed of only one type of monosaccharides, while the heteropolysaccharides are composed of more than one type. For example, starch, cellulose, and glycosin are under the categories of homopolysaccharides. And hyaluronic acid and heparin under the categories of heteropolysaccharides. So what is a starch? The starch is used for energy storage or storage in plants. Potatoes, corn, wheat, and rice are the rich source of starch. It is a polymer of glucose in which glucose molecules are lined by alpha-1,4. Remember alpha-1,4 glycosidic bond. The starch can be separated into two fractions, namely water-soluble amylose and water-insoluble amylopectin. The starch contains about 20% of amylose and 80% of amylopectin. Amylose is composed of unbranched chain up to 4,000 alpha D glucose molecules joined by 1,4 alpha uh, glycosidic bond. Amylopectin contains chain up to 1,000, 10,000 alpha D glucose molecules linked by alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. In addition, there is a branching from linear chain. At branch point, New chain of 24 to 30 glucose molecules are linked by alpha-1,6 glycosidic bond. With iodine, solution amylose give blue color, while amylopectin gives purple color. Now, friends, you know about cellulose. Cellulose is the major constituent plant cell wall. Cotton is almost pure cellulose. On hydrolysis, cellulose yield a D-glucose molecule. Cellulose is a straight chain polysaccharide. The glucose molecule linked by beta 1 4 glycosidic bond. You know, cellulose is used extensively in manufacturing paper, cellulose fiber, rayon, explosive, gun cotton, and so on. Women cannot use cellulose as food because our digestive system do not contain necessary enzyme glycosidases or cellulases that can be hydrolyzed the cellulose. Now, glycosin. You know, glycosin is the storage polysaccharide of animals. It is present in the liver and muscles of animals. Glycosin is also called as animal starch. On hydrolysis, it gives glucose molecule. Structurally, glycosin resembles amylopectin and more branching. In glycosin, the branching occurs every 8 to 14 glucose unit opposed to the 24 30 units in amylopectin. The excessive glucose in the body is stored in the form of glycosin. So, what is the importance of carbohydrate? 
you know, carbohydrate widely distributed in plants and amenia, act mainly as energy source and structural polymers. You know, my friend, carbohydrate is stored in the body as glycogen and in plant as a starch. Carbohydrates such as cellulose, which is the primary component of plant cell wall, is used to make paper, furniture, and clothes. Simple sugar glucose serves as instant source of energy. Ribose sugar are one of the components of liquidity acid. Modified carbohydrates such as hyaluronate act as a shock absorber and lubricants. So my friends, I hope this video will be beneficial for you. If you like this video, then share it in your friend circle and your family members. And thanks for watching.